Well, sports don't always follow a predetermined script. You know that part in Lord of the Rings where Frodo and all the hobbits see each other in Frodo's bedroom and they all jump around on the bed because they're all hyped that they all survive and we all just kind of feel good at the end of the movie before Frodo ultimately gets on that ship and sails away to some ethereal plane of existence? Well, that's called an epilogue, and it's pretty much exactly what we just saw happen with our football team and its star quarterback. Frodo was never supposed to be able to get to Mordor, Ben was never supposed to last almost 20 years, not the way he played. We were all saying it like literally 15 years ago. But he did, and that's amazing and commendable. The 11-0 start in 2020, and the just exquisite finales against the Browns and Ravens last year to sneak into the playoffs for no reason at all other than veteran Guile, were exactly how I want to remember Ben when he's chopping it up on the mic with Spence. I don't want to think about the time they threw it 59 times to score 10 points on the Bengals. Nor do I want to remember him as the dude who got